Next time you're out enjoying nature, it's worth taking the time to consider the fact that some of the animal and plant species you might see in the UK didn't actually evolve here, but were brought here at some point in our history from other parts of the world. These are known as non-native or introduced species. An introduced species is one that has been moved from its native range and introduced to a new ecosystem. In the UK, we consider a non-native species to be one that's been introduced in the last 8,000 years, so since the last ice age. For as long as we've engaged in global travel and exploration, we've made a habit of borrowing exotic plants and animals from distant lands, many of which were to end up in British museums, country gardens and zoos. Then, either deliberately or by accident, some of these non-native species have escaped and gone on to integrate themselves into native British habitats. For instance, it was actually the ancient Romans who first brought European rabbits to the UK in the first century AD. Rhododendrons were introduced in the late 1700s, rainbow trout from North America in the 1800s, and harlequin ladybirds arrived here as recently as 2004. Whilst the majority of non-native plants and animals haven't proven to be harmful to native British ecosystems, those that have are classified by conservationists as invasive species. So an invasive species is an introduced species that's ca causing a negative impact either to biodiversity, the economy or society. In the UK we have about 2,000 introduced species and about 200 of those are classed as being invasive. Invasive species can impact biodiversity uh, by disrupting native uh, food chains and ecosystems. They can outcompete native species and sometimes they can introduce disease. Examples of species that have become invasive in the UK include the Japanese knotweed, which is causing economic damage to properties and uh, transportation systems. Uh, the ringneck parakeet is causing biodiversity impacts on our native nesting birds. Uh, and the, the grey squirrel is a conservation concern for the red squirrel um, but through competition and uh, spreading disease, the red squirrel is in decline. So what can we do to protect our native ecosystems against the environmental risks posed by invasive species? Here in the UK, scientists are trying to understand where invasive species are having the greatest impact on our native biodiversity by mapping both native and non-native species to understand their distributions. Using this information, we can then make decisions about where we need to intervene to protect native habitats. And there are even ways that non-scientists can help contribute to this research. Anyone can help contribute to this uh, science by recording any species, native or non-native, that they see when they're out for a walk or out enjoying the countryside using apps such as the iRecord app or Mammal Mapper. In this way, young people can contribute to the science and monitoring of invasive species.